All right, guys, Lewis here at LRC Power Sports. And today is, is a very sad day. Um, this is my personal 400EX 440 Big Bore. I built this bike back in 2004 for uh, motocross, LRC racing. And uh, I decided to, to part it out. So 400EX so that I know I know the value of a 400EX is not you know what what I need to get for it so I figure you know we're just gonna have to pull this this uh, bike apart so I can get get what I need to get in order to uh, to alleviate the separation anxiety I'll give you a quick overview of everything that it's got uh, any questions my phone number will be in the listing in the listings it is a 2002 titled frame with a 2004 bottom end motor built by Mickey Dunlap over at four stroke tech ported head uh, intake and exhaust stage 2 hot cams it has a 440 big bore kit uh, a Henson quick change clutch cover. It does have a Henson clutch, but not the basket. I will be selling that separately. These are these are almost impossible to find, much less in this condition. There isn't a nick or scratch on that on that clutch cover. Um, it has a Lone Star steering stem, ASV levers. You know, basic kill switch. Pro Design shifter has brand new. I I go ahead and I add stuff to this bike, you know, uh, just to just to keep it up to date. Those uh, AC Racing Nerf bars are brand new. I've never run them um, after I put them on this bike. The Duncan bumper is brand new. It has roll design, plus three long travel A arms. With the Elka long travel 19 and a half inch shocks, it has a Duncan Racing uh, steering stabilizer, Pingree's uh, three quart oversized oil can, the one with the uh, vents, stainless steel braided lines, the the dual. It has a uh, hardcore uh, front hubs. It has a uh, old school. LRD racing exhaust in the back it has a Lone Star plus one swing arm Elka shock with the uh, Elka linkage Lone Star axle Lone Star anti-fade lock nut with a DP heavy-duty brake rotor it has the uh, Lone Star rear hubs DID X-ring ATV chain cascade parking brake block off it has the uh, TM design uh, chain sliding guide and the chain guide in the back has a pin grease uh, air box we went ahead and shaved all of the um, battery and electronic mounts off of the Subframe. We also added an 8889 TRX 250R rear grab bar in the back. Um, let me pull this seat off. Okay. Underneath here we have a Curtis Sparks FCR 39 carburetor. The intake boot also comes with the head. It's also ported to match the uh, the intake port. So um, I think that may cover all of it. Real simple bike, real light. We rode it for motocross for a little bit. Um, probably did about four weekend trips on this bike. And the rest of the time it's just been, you know, riding it around the yard here just to keep everything fresh 
Um, so, uh, if there's anything in particular that you want and you don't see it listed, you know, just go ahead and, and uh, send me a, a message through eBay or a text message. And uh, if it's still available, I'll try to hook you up. I've seen some nice 400DXs in my in my day, but I guarantee you this is probably one of the cleanest ones still around. All the powder coat is intact. There's no there's no boot rub on this powder coat in here. All what you see in, in, in is is all dust from sitting. You know the powder coat on the uh, swing arm is is 100% intact. It's got a quad tech tank cover with a quad tech 450R hood. You know, um, I'll be keeping the hyper wheels. I may keep the roll design A arms and long travel shocks and adapt them to uh, one of my 250Rs. But uh, most likely, everything else uh, is going to go. So, all right, guys. Again, you're uh, bittersweet, but uh, we're we uh, we're into new endeavors here at LRC, and uh, you know it's gonna be out with old, in with the new, so to speak. All right, thank you. Any questions, again, just go ahead, send me a message, give me a text message, uh, and I'll answer you as, as quickly as I can.